Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So this is the second video for third party patching in SCCM. So it's part two. So the um, the first video I show you how to um, uh, subscribe to the catalog and then I show you how to sync. So once you sync successfully, you can look at the log files. The log files, it should be SMS underscore ISV updates underscore sync agent. And if you look in there, you should see all the the vendors that you sync. For example, I have Dell. Here's all the Dell and I should have um, HP as well. Just say if I search for HP, there it is. So once you sync successfully and it shows success, what you need to do is go into the administration, sites, and click on your primary site. Right click, go to configure, configure site component, and then software update point. Under products, you want to make sure you check the the vendors that you want to you want to sync i'm just going to uh, sync bios update drivers and applications and firmware and for hp i'm not going to need the software i'm just going to use firmware and drivers this is it I don't want to sync everything click OK and then the next step you want to go to software library go to all software updates right click and then go to sync software updates I'm sorry before sync let's go into um, all software library see if you can find any updates for HP So there's no update for HP. What about Dell? There shouldn't be any. Alright, as you can see, there's no HP drivers, there's no Dell drivers. So what you need to do is you're gonna sync all software updates. This should sync all the drivers and HP that I just selected. Sync software updates, click yes. You can go into the monitoring and it should start syncing in a minute. So as you can see, it started to sync. This will take a while. I'm gonna pause the video and then we'll return when it's finished. Okay. We'll be right back. All right, look like it is successfully sync. I'm going to also the updates. Let's search for HP. As you can see, I see all the HP related drivers. So once you sync, successfully um, the next step you need to do is you need to subs uh, publish the drivers just say if I want to uh, publish this firmware so what you need to do is right click on it just say I want to select these two items select and then right click what you need to do is publish third software updates content if you don't do this as you can see it's blue right now you cannot deploy it if you deploy it just say if you want to download it's going to give you an error as you can see all software updates selected require are expired so you want to make sure this icon turn green 
I'm just going to test it out. Um, let's select uh, a few drivers. I'm going to right click and then go to publish third party update. Click yes. So that's Dell. Let's do it for HP. Right click and then publish third party software updates. Click yes. Once you do that, um, what you need to do is you're going to have to go to all software, all software updates again and then right click and then go to sync software updates. Actually, before you do this, you need to check the log files to make sure it's successfully published. Let me see the log files on the SSCM logs, and it should call start with ISV, SMS ISV updates. Let's see if it's finished. Alright, looks like it's check on download by near has completed. Alright, let, let's take a look to see if it's um, we need to force it on software update and synchronization software updates. Once you sync, it's gonna turn green and then you can deploy it. For now, I'm just going to pause the video. Once it finished syncing, I'm going to come back. All right, now let's take a look at the monitoring. Under software update synchronization, as you can see, it's access, green, and completed. Now let's look at the, the contents. Go to software library. Under all software updates, let's search for Dell. What I should have done is create a software update group first. As you can see here, Dell is now green. Oops. All right, so it's green now. Um, so when it's green, you actually can download it. I'm going to download. Well, actually, I'm going to create a software update group for it. Dell drivers. There's a few more. Let's see. There's one more. Dell drivers. And I should see all the HP as well. And if I look for the green icon, as you can see here, HP. So now it is successfully sync and I create a software update group for Dell. What I need to do next is download the, um, the drivers. So go to Dell drivers. Click on download. So you can create a new package called Dell drivers or you can add to an existing package. I'm just going to add to an existing package since this is only for testing. In the real world scenario, you might want to create its own uh, deployment package. Click next, and it's going to download the drivers. Next. It's going to take a few minutes to download. I'm going to pause the video and we'll return. All right, it's done. I'm going to close. 
So now I can deploy the drivers. Just right click on the software update groups and then go to deploy. I should be able to deploy to all the um, the Dell model. Um, so my target collection, I can create a custom collection for Dell, or I can just deploy to our client. It's gonna, it's just gonna install when it needs it, so you um, you don't have to worry about you hitting the wrong computers. Just gonna check on all clients. Next, required as soon as possible. I'm going to display settings, suppress workstation on servers, just in case if I hit a server. Next, next. Hmm. I guess it did not finish downloading, so I'm just going to download it again. Let's click OK here. Next, next. Install software updates. I'm going to check this box. So if the driver is not available locally, it's going to download from the internet. Next and next. So that's it. That's how you deploy third-party patches in SCCM. So you can download, you can deploy um, drivers, manufactured drivers. You can deploy third-party application like Adobe, Chrome, Firefox, etc. Thank you for watching and have a great day.